Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're still here, thank you. I'm here in Fitness Works today because this is where I'm working out. Thanks for joining me. Today is all about building muscle. Kind of like a building muscle 101. <laughs> I think that's even a thing. I just want to talk through the basics of it. Uh, but yeah, all the, the basics to building muscle. Um, my key points that I would suggest for you guys. And just a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a different style video for you. So, first things first is training. You need to be in a consistent training pattern to be able to make consistent progress. So, for years and years and years, for my basically my whole fitness career uh, journey has been based around strength training. So whether this been this the style of it has changed over the course of the years. However, the the fundamentals and the basis has always remained the same. So it's always been for strength, for to get stronger whether that's over a longer period or doing it over a shorter period of time. My, my overall goal has always been to keep getting stronger, to keep learning new things, and yeah, to keep progressing. So ultimately, training is a massive thing. So you need to initially make sure that you are in some sort of consistent training routine so that we can then ad adapt that um, adapt that routine so that then you can make sure that whatever you're training, however your training style is conducive to your goals. Progressive overload, so keep continuing to add weights, increase your weights either every session, every week. What I would say is keep a track of your training. So if you're doing a specific building plan, so if you're doing like a six week muscle building plan or trying to build a certain amount of muscle in a certain amount of time, Make sure you are tracking your sessions. Um, that way you can write down your weights how, from week to week and then see how you are doing, how you're progressing, whether you are getting stronger um, and also doing tests. So just doing a test on say your, your big lift, so squat, deadlift, bench, if that's what you're doing. Um, if that's not your sort of thing, just start with the weights that you're using, the exercises that you're currently doing Mark what your what weights you're using at the beginning. What mark mark what weights what reps you're doing at the beginning, and then through, through a course of progressive overload, adding different bits and pieces in there. Then you can test it again at the end of the six weeks or however long your training program is at that at that time. Today I'm going to show you a typical example of a great strength workout. I've got deadlifts, some rows. Not sure what else, but. Today is gonna be about the strength. How good fuck right now, right now. Tell them all just pipe down. Cause I think it's a war right now, right now. Right now, right now. Yeah, I think it's a war right now, right now. Yeah, right now, right now. Yeah, I think it's a war. She thinks I'm the one, but she knows that I'm young. Heaven in the city, homie, know I'm going dumb. Money, 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 know I'm trying to get some. Trying to get some. Let the motherfucker run. Let the motherfucker run. She wanna do drugs, so to put it on its own. muscle I am I'm sure you've heard about calorie surplus so you need to be eating more calories than you're burning throughout the day now this can be done um, a couple of ways so you can literally physically eat more calories than you're burning throughout that throughout your day or on an average through the week or if you're pretty active at the moment and your calories are around maintenance what you can do is just literally reduce some of your training. So whether, it, if, if that's 
feasible for your training program. So for example, if you're really quite active in terms of running, cycling, any sort of cardio, um, HIIT workouts, that sort of that sort of um, that sort of stuff, then it might be worth looking at just reducing your output rather than increasing your calories if you don't want to increase your food if it's still relatively high at the moment. That's one way of just balancing the scale or changing that scale. Um, obviously the other option is to increase your calories slightly. So if you are quite low on calories or you're quite happy to increase them, then that's the other way to get in that calorie surplus. One thing that is thrown around in terms of uh, adding muscle is bulking. It can be seen as an easy way to just eat whatever the hell you want. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're eating um, is conducive to your goals because you might be eating all the all the wrong things um, and kind of just use it using it as an excuse just to eat shit basically so in terms of bulking I've never specifically said I'm gonna do a bulk I've just eaten probably eaten more food but kept my training the same so I mean <laughs> In terms of calorie surplus, you can make it as, as aggressive as you want. Same as when you're losing weight, you can increase the calorie deficit to be as aggressive as you want. But obviously, the, the ex if you go into the extreme, then the results either are not gonna be sustainable, and they're gonna, they might be fast, but they might not necessarily mean that you're either adding muscle mass or losing fat so you might just be losing weight you might and you might just be adding weight if you're eating say 100 200 extra calories it's not that much in terms of physical food but essentially you're going to be in a calorie surplus so you're going to be able to build that amount of muscle adding muscle is a long game it's not something that's quickly done overnight and ultimately you're going to be adding body fat regardless of however you do it because you're going to be eating more calories and consuming more calories than you're actually burning on in the day so you want to make it as effective as possible so i would recommend sort of anywhere between one to five hundred calories extra uh, per day same as is if you were if you were losing weight the other thing is sleep so this sleep is so so important regardless of where you're at with your training um, with your goals and things like that but muscle is all about recovery able to recover quicker so make sure you are getting eight hours sleep uh, on average a night it is a pretty simple formula um, same same with losing body fat you you just need to be consistent um, consistency is the main thing um, I have never done a specific bulking phase but over the past eight years that I've been training um, I've definitely increased my increased my muscle mass and this has just been through consistently consistently training there's been phases where I've dropped body fat uh, but then there have been phases where I've probably been eating been eating maintenance or slightly more calories um, but I've still been training, which essentially is helping towards building muscle. The last thing is time. So, uh, yeah, it, it goes with consistency. It, it happens over time. It's not a short process. It's not something that will happen overnight. Um, and it is a process that you need to be able to enjoy. Uh, if you are wanting to build muscle, then it is one of those things that's going to take time you're not going to see results straight away and yeah it just takes a little bit more patience than i would say fat loss because with fat loss you can see things happening week after week with building muscle you could probably see your strength increasing and things like that but um it is more mentally a battle i would say but ultimately um it's the long game and you'll get there <laughs> So I am going to go head to the gym, I've just had my pre-workout meal and I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you found it a little bit informative, 
thought I'd do something a little bit different for you. Drop your comments in the comments section below if you do have any questions or comments or anything. Uh, let me know if you are liking my videos as well so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.